I'm actually thinking of trying to get my marbling to look how I want it in this. And mm. then I'm going to try to just flip the whole thing. What are we doing with this? Well, I don't we're going to use this just to kind of keep our mess in place. And uh, we needed bigger lids. We're going to make a little mess. That's okay. You're just doing one at a time? Yeah. Okay. You can do it however you want. I'm interested in just doing it all. Hey, Concrete fans. What is happening? Uh, Rat Girl, nice to see you. Nice to see you. Thank you. Today we're making concrete stuff. What yeah. kind of stuff? What are we making? Well, yeah. we released this little special one of a kind tray a few yes. months ago. Yes. Uh, and we just realized we haven't done a lot of content with it. So why well, not do... We our... don't even run production on this mold yet. We're having... No. Mold's challenging. Let's put it that way. Yeah. Uh, and this is a mold we have a couple of, very few, mm -hmm. and we'd be willing to let one of these go to someone yeah for a brief uh, monetary or a, not a brief but a, a we'll say a modest monetary exchange message us we'll see on instagram and yeah uh, send us a message if you like yeah. what we made send us a message and maybe uh yeah it's maybe, exclusive maybe you can yeah. have one you'd be the only one with one yeah so far there's about four or five of them in the world we've so. made a solid four of these yeah so <laughs> big we're gonna, numbers yeah. big numbers a showdown is that what's up? A vibrant colors showdown using uh, mineral pigments, integral yes. mineral pigments. Okay. Marbling, because marbling. we see there's a lot of attraction towards marbling. And it's fun to do, and I think we're the best at it. We are. I mean, you're going to show me a new technique today. Well, it's not necessarily new, but it's a different setup of mixing that I haven't tried. We've got these Quadacook cook ice cream lids. Not a sponsor, but if they were a sponsor, we could eat a lot of ice cream. Pistachio, specifically. Pistachio? Yeah. Oh, yeah. What's that one? Vanilla. Okay. But if but they were to the, send if us... If they were, if you're hypothetically, listening. Aquatica, if you're thinking of sending us something, use this as a little mixing trick. Keep it keep it tight. Yeah. It's about it's about the same size as... So, doing a really rough guess on like how much concrete we need. Yeah. It's about the same footprint as this. It's about the same depth. So I'm guessing one of these somewhat full is gonna be basically that. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't take a lot. No, yeah. so let's load these up. Well, so my question was, how are oh. we gonna mix a bunch of colors in this? And you told me. We're gonna just, uh, wait, what'd I tell you? We're gonna do a white base. Yes. And then we're gonna add colors afterwards. Yeah, we'll which just see it. Sounds cool. And oh, it'll be fun. Uses less containers, so there's less to clean. Less to clean, and yeah. this is it's in a handy ice cream lid, so it's gonna be whoa. Check Those are out. nice. That's the a bubble. nice. That's a nice paint can. Yeah. A full cup. Yeah. You're gonna mix it with your hands, right? Yeah, pile it up like you would like the pasta style. So pasta. yeah. So, I know what you're talking. You know about. what I'm That's talking my about. That's my language. Yeah. I'm gonna make a well. I, I like that. That looks about That's right. That's good. Mm -hmm kind of okay at eyeballing how much concrete we need. If you have an object that's already been cast once, you can weigh that object and it's gonna be pretty close. It'll get you pretty close. Uh, oh, we need pigment. I wish I wish we had pigments wish. that were in just like very uh, digestible sizes. Convenient. Convenient and like a whole bunch of them at once, like not just buying a bunch of large containers of pigments. Oh my gosh, there it is. Oh, what? No, but seriously, we joke about it, but it was getting a little bit much when we we're doing little projects to have the big bags all the time. So this is perfect for a small space. And just test it. Let's pull these jars. Testing, out. yeah. Yes. Little jars. This is awesome. Look at these little jars. Someone must have did a lot of work to get all this pigment in here. I'm just gonna make myself a little well. And so we're making pasta here. Yeah, yeah. Pasta. This is the pasta technique. Okay. And I'm gonna throw my white pigment in there because right I'm gonna, the I wanna start with a white base. Get off that or I might use it again. Nice. Just drip the water in there. Get a good little well going. What if we put an egg yolk in here? Uh, what if you put a lot of things in here? So one of the fun things, we do a lot of research on seeing like what people are doing with concrete. And one of the, I love TikTok. Uh, I've had some fun going on TikTok, but the flip side of TikTok is TikTok has, and not just TikTok, TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, 
easy media. When media, and I guess maybe all media, this can be applied to all media. There's a lot of misinformation out there. Yeah, and, there is, especially and it, TikTok. It, well, especially the format is very short. Mm -hmm. There's not a lot of room to give a bunch of background on what's going on. There's mm -hmm. a lot of videos, I've come across a ton of videos that say, I put this in my concrete mix and now it's really strong. And uh, those those are kind of fun. We do it those videos too. We call them Will It Concrete. Yeah, and but sometimes it's satire. Most most of them are satire. It's satirical. Satirical. We're just we're, we're joking, but sometimes it actually works. Sometimes um, it actually works. Most of the time it doesn't. No. And to talk about gray matter for a little bit, this is a concrete mix that we developed specifically for making fine concrete art. Yeah. Uh, but when I say like we developed it, we worked with an engineering with an engineering firm. Yeah. We worked with a chemist. Uh, we had lots of testing done on the mix. Uh, I can confidently say that we can hit hardnesses of 50, uh, depending on how you cure it and what's mixed into it. Yeah. 50 MPA up to up to like. 75, 80, 90 MPA is doable. Um, and we've tested to that strength using compression cylinders that have compression testing done on them through an engineering firm. <laughs> like it's a bit different to actually test a mix and go through the rigors that yeah. takes literally months and casting like literally dozens of samples. Yeah. So then when you see an Instagram video that says like, put Elmer's wood glue in concrete, glue, yeah. oh. and it's like, yeah, please. I was just showing him that. Please. I mean. You know what? It could work if you want it to work. Cite your source and do your testing and prove it. Prove prove that it's stronger, but like to just say this, this gives you better results, but not actually having like, the science involved. Yeah. Is, uh, con mean, concrete's a lot of science. Usually it's like small objects too. We're not talking about somebody who's yeah. like making big artistic items, but. But I think even that's, your small projects, like just do it right. Well, just don't spread mis misinformation. You actually don't know if what you're doing is making yeah. it stronger or not. Don't don't do a video saying it does. Like that's baloney. Just be real. Oh, gosh, I think mine I, looks good. Yours looks good. I, I had to use my hands here. Yeah, that's probably smart. Yeah. So I'm gonna use my hands too, which actually is an indicator. We, you know what, this is a video where we're getting back to basics. We've done a lot of fun, crazy videos, but this is gonna be a video that shows us like, hey, what's the what's the deal? How do you make great concrete? Water content. Yeah. So one of the things that our mix gray matter has built into it is plasticizers and water reducers because one of the ways that you get really, really strong concrete is managing how much water is in your concrete. Wet concrete, and this is the thing with small objects especially. I watch videos online, I see people doing their thing. This is a place where people make mistakes again and again and again. Yeah. If you want to increase the flow properties of your concrete, you can't do it just by adding water. Not just that, what we're doing right now, we're marbling. Yes. So you don't want it to be too wet either you don't want when it you're to marbling. Be too wet. Because it's just going to blend and especially right now, Mr. Concrete Harvey told me that he wanted to do all the colors. So if your mix was too wet and you want to do all these colors, they will just blend, which could be so, cool. I like my base. I feel good about this. Yeah. Now we just make quadrants. Yeah, I haven't done that, so I'm excited. We can do, I'm going to go like kind of that. Look, nothing happens. It's all gone. Like I'm going to make these lines. So now I'm going to go like that and now the lines are gone. It's like quicksand. That was helpful. Yeah. But just visualize that you've made some quadrants and start splitting it up. Yeah. Start. How are you pouring it in? Just a little sprinkle? Just, gonna, just go like that. You're just doing one at a time? Yeah. So, okay. You can do it however you want. I'm interested in just doing it all. Go for it. Seeing what happens. So I guess this is going to be a little pastel -y. I like. I like doing... I kind of lean into the pastels with concrete, um, primarily because concrete is a bit milky at its base. Uh, it's especially milky when you add in white pigment, but even without the white pigment, concrete has a chalky, milky, very opaque base to it. Meaning whatever pigment that you're going to add into it in small quantities is always going to kind of look like a pastel. 
So rather than fighting that and being like, I'm gonna fight the pastel, I kind of I kind of dig into it and be like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna yeah. actually. So you've got a bunch of colors going. Yeah, I'm still I this really, look... I'm still really focusing just on my green, <laughs> my greeny cool. blue. Let's see what we get. What but... if I just get ideas as we're going? And use freestyle? Well, so like one of the ideas I had as we're going um, is that I was going to use our fold-in marbling technique. Oh, yeah. You know, where you break it apart. Yeah. yeah. Have people seen this? Say in the comments if you've seen us do this in the past. If you go back through old videos, I'm sure you'll find it. Definitely seen it. Places where we've folded in, uh, we've taken it, torn it apart, folded it together. Keep doing that. You get this awesome thing. You yeah. Get, like tons of veining and whatnot. I'm actually thinking of trying to get my marbling to look how I want it in this. And mm. then I'm going to try to just flip the whole thing oh, that's cool. into the tray so that we keep kind of keep the composition that we build in this yeah. other tray. I think I was going for a slow pour with all the colors. So okay. that's good. You're doing that's different things. Two different things. Yeah. Uh, I'm well, getting close to ready. You sh really? Well, because I do want white in here. Okay, okay. Well, I'm not ready. So can you just... Yeah, slow down. I was. It's Monday. I'm refreshed. I'm ready to go. Uh, I don't do Mondays. I love a Monday. Wow. I definitely appreciate that about you. <laughs> Monday is a tough day for me. Well, that's the thing. You kind of work weekends too. Yeah. Yes, and we are. Well, I think it sounds like a lot of people in the studio are in the thick of apartment hunting right now. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's, refreshing. it's a nightmare. We are in Montreal and there is a full-blown housing crisis going on right now. Left and right, I see friends looking for housing. It's a bit tough because you can't help everyone. No. You do have to take circumstances into play. It's a, it's a hard world. Our, yeah, our apartment got sold, so it's like, we don't have a choice. It's we're, like, get out. we're out. Yeah, oh, this looks nice. You have a lot of primary going on, huh? That's kind of my thing. I know. I know. Yeah. Okay, you're there. Give me a sec. I'm waiting. I know. Oh my gosh, I just made purple. Yeah, the black. So our black has a blue base to it. This is actually kind of challenging to find, is blacks that have blue bases. This is something we've gone at length. I've gone through so many suppliers and even within our supplier, there's been times when we've gotten red based blacks and I still send it back. <laughs> or even reds, right? Reds are hard to get spot on, a good red. Well, it's very difficult to find reds that don't lean too orange. Yeah. So again, if you look at our red and you see this tone that you're getting, it's, nice. it, it's a great, it's a great, very true red that's not too orange. It's very, very, most reds that you will find for sourcing pigments are gonna be super, super, super orange. Yeah. Same thing with blacks, primarily because most uh, pigments are oxide based, mm -hmm. iron oxide based. So, that's red. We all know iron oxide. Yeah. Especially living here in Quebec. Uh, <laughs> that is your car rusting to nothing. Your pipes, everything. Everything. Your front deck. <laughs> That's another thing about the housing is oh, you might get a good deal, but. Hopefully it's not falling down. Yeah. What is it? Like literally, how what many, does it how look many apartments like? this year did you see that have fallen down? Like that. The that number one thing is the windows, the isolation, the windows. I saw, ooh, that looks good. Yeah, it looks good. I'm like, I saw a fallen down around here. balcony I saw a couple weeks ago. A balcony? On the Ethno MTL. Oh, uh, yeah. And then I also saw, did you see like a few months ago that one? The one, like, I think they're a musician and their, like, whole wall fell off their apartment. And people On their of, instruments? A bunch of people took photos of it. It was, like, it, it, was, you, it was really yeah. photogenic. Like, not photogenic. Uh, <laughs> it, was photogenic. it was photogenic. The whole photogenic. wall came down. But it looked amazing because you could see their apartment. It looked like the a, structure. Doll, a dollhouse. Oh. No, just their interior. Their oh. living room. Oh, yes. Yeah, they, there was, was a go just, find like, me for them. Yeah. Yeah, that was, that was really hard. I think you beat me. I saw that. Well, I think I got to go. Go. And it looks great. I don't even want to. What are you going to do? I think, guys, I need to take a pic. Ooh, okay. So 
we have an Instagram account. Yeah. And can it's social screen, media. Screen, screen? Nah, it's not going to work, but we have to get better at taking behind the scenes while we're recording. Because this only it's, happens once. This beautiful design right here. Yes. Ooh. Yeah, mine's a lot more boring. It's making me think of... So what I'm going to try to do, I'm going to try to keep it all swirly and marbly like this. Support it. Yeah, me too, actually. I'm just going to go like that. I might Put be it right upside down. You. Yeah, I think you should do the same thing. Yeah, I wasn't expecting to have. So a... I'm just gonna. I flipped it right upside down, and I'm just gonna keep tapping it. Some's gonna go oh. in directions you don't want. Just keep going. We'll clean it up after. This is a new, new-ish technique. Oh, this is great. All right. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Nice. Yeah. Most of it went in Good there. Good eyeball there. I think like that's literally it. Just a little bit here. Yeah, we don't want to overfill this. No. So, what's a good trick to getting really great casting? Pizza pastas. Yes. <laughs> Were you waiting for me to say it? I would some. Pizza I think pizza. it should be. One thing that I've learned about uh, instruction, giving people instruction stuff, and sometimes, I don't know, I don't want this to come across as uh, mansplaining. I hate I hate that that potentially can happen. And it doesn't just happen with men, it just happens when people over explain things that should be, I guess, common knowledge. I don't know what they got. Well, the other day that happened to me with someone who's not a man. Yeah. And they it were happens. fully just telling me something like that I definitely know. Yeah, you definitely know. And I was like, uh, but it's not mansplaining. What's the word? I don't know. I it's said, kind of, kind of, it's, there's an element of mansplaining that I guess you would call condescending. I said like human splain. Yeah, like, I don't know. There's a, you could maybe just say it, you're being condescending. <laughs> well, that seems harsh. I it feel is like the harsh. Explaining thing makes it a bit lighter. It's kind of like you, you know when a girl's you're, you're dating being, a boy and she's like, hey, you just mansplained me. You're being condesplaining. Condes, ooh, that's good. You might be onto something. Condesplaining. Concrete looks good. The what I was going to say though is. I think sometimes when you're doing instructions, especially when you're doing stuff on the fly, it's good to say things out loud that you think should go assumed. Yeah. Say more things out loud. The yeah. more you say out loud, as long as no one's offended and you say it in a nice way, I think saying things out loud is a really good way to ensure that you get the results that you want. Because if yeah. you don't say things out loud, how's anyone gonna know what you want? But not just that, we're teachers per se so we don't know who exactly is watching this we don't know if you're a beginner and intermediate so that's why sometimes we'll say oh you've probably heard us say this before yeah. because we might be assuming that you've watched our videos well, but I mean, you might be new i think it's a good thing that a teacher should potentially say things out loud yeah. again and again and again and you learn through repetition and the biggest lesson okay. i got with that was university Yes. and art classes and how teachers need to start from A to Z because they don't know what your background know. is, what high school you went to, what college you went to. And the first few classes are always really boring. Yeah. And the teacher says, hey, it's going to be boring. It's going to be boring. I need to do this. And they're just as bored. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that's the difference. We're not. We repeat. No, this but is fun. This is fun for we us. We still get to do fun things. Yeah. We're going to check in on these. We're going to do a quick, this is going to be quick. So yep. like four hours. Yeah, maybe a bit longer. When I did this, uh, and you did maybe five hours. We'll see. Wow. We only got so much time today. We do. We'll Wait, we should cover these. We should. We should haven't we done one in a under, while. I don't have anything here right nearby. Um, so why don't we cut the video there? See you later in like five hours? After lunch. Four or five hours? Sometime yeah. after lunch. Bye, right. everyone. Bye. Hey, everyone, we're back. That is awkward. It's, such... it's uh, Mr. Concrete Concrete and Rat Girl and... Uh, we you, put something over. We, yes. we said we would. Yeah, we did. We found this tub, yep. this mixing tub, and put it over because why? Did, why? Because it keeps the moisture in place and it's just better. It's not going to crack on top. Yeah. There is a cracking that happens. Sometimes. Yeah. But I guess you could avoid that by doing this, but it could still occur. Yeah. We're trying to get the maximum amount of hydration. We don't want water to evaporate out of our mix. We want the water to chemically react, create the calcification process and turn just all these powders into rock hard concrete. Yep. So here we go. The reveal. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. I looked at the screen before I looked at 
our art, Down which, is, the... which is silly, but Whatever. We're, we're getting used to this. Yes. So here they are. Uh... These are really easy molds to. Yeah, these are these are it's an easy mold and one of our. So I'm just gonna like loosen the edge a little bit. Sorry if you're an ASMR enthusiast. Uh, this is a pretty simple mold. Pretty simple. Not gonna be a lot of cracking. Okay. Well, here's. Oh. Ooh. What? Oh. Some pigment came up at the top there. There's a lot of blue. A lot of blue. Ah, uh, you know what? We, I forgot. I don't know if you forgot. What? When you have little details like this. Uh, we should have rubbed into the details. We should have rubbed in. Yeah, we should have. But still pretty solid. Yeah. No, it's awesome. I'm Other than that. I'm, I'm happy with this. Not a single void. What about you? Uh, I got a void in the corner right there. You can, you can make it out. Mm -hmm. That's my favorite part. That those stripey bits? Yeah, that looks great. It's like some sort of stone. Yeah. They look like they're related, which is nice. Oh, yeah. They were made at the same time, which is pretty much the same mix. He made time. it a competition. Well, I think you said it was a showdown. <laughs> so uh, I'm happy with them both. I think they're both beautiful. Yeah. You got two trays. You put little bits in there, put your wallet, your keys, whatever. Hey, we threw it out there. If you, uh, if you want one of these molds, if you're like, I want one of those molds, get in touch. I'm yeah. willing to, uh, you know, we, we, Rat Girl and I made these molds. Yeah. But we're also willing to let them go for very, uh, for a moderate. Yeah. Price. I mean, you saw how easy it was to make something yeah. out of here. So it could be a nice mold for gift giving. You can make Give all kinds of, uh, yeah, you can make stuff, little bits. Yeah. Well, we'll probably do an episode on sealing these. Yeah, we've done a sealing episode, but it's always nice to do another one. A reminder of some of the basics of how to get yeah. beautiful, beautiful, vibrant, uh, concrete, mineral pigmented uh, items. And to get them to last. And to get them to last. Yeah. And because, have, them be, yeah. have them be nice. So thanks, everybody. Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching. This was episode two of our face. Two of where our face. Where we've been revealed. Yes. And there's more to come. Yes. All right. Bye, everyone. Goodbye.